What is up everybody? Turtle here coming at you with a another Pokemon Hidden Fates break. This is for my new patron, Montre. Montre, thank you so much for signing up and sponsoring this opening. You have six Hidden Fates tins. That's gonna be 24 cracks at finding Charizard Evolution, whatever it is that you're looking for. Um, all right, I'm gonna bust these open real quick. We'll probably fast forward just to uh, speed things up. Be right back. All right, my Drew, we are about all set. Best of luck. Here we go. Um, and in case you guys didn't know, on our Patreon page, you can check out the details. But for the month of October, we're offering patrons the awesome rate of $15 a tin for breaks. So if you are interested in one, just definitely check out the Patreon page and sign up. All right, first pack was a dud. As you can see, we're going to be going through these pretty quick. We have a lot of packs open. Um, yeah, maybe we can... I think it's been a while since I've uh, done the trick. I think it, uh, whatever. We're just gonna go right through it. All right, our first shiny is a Magnezone. I do feel like this is the ones, one of the ones we pull more often. Uh, and it doesn't feel, look perfectly centered. The top bar feels a little, it's a little thicker. But uh, we will take a shiny, grab a sleeve for that. And if, if you haven't been paying attention to all of our breaks, the these reprint tins, uh, first off, I love how they do the promo, but uh, I feel like the hit ratio has been pretty good uh, But it's been I'm not sure how many evolutions we found, but we haven't found a Charizard yet, which is kind of concerning All right, I do like Hidden Fates because we can try to play a little game This is clearly the full art birds and with a reverse Giovanni Happy to pick up all the birds we can. Let's take a look at centering uh, Front looks pretty Pretty strong. Back looks really good as well. So Montre, if you are interested in sending these off to PSA, just let me know. Uh, ones I put in these penny sleeves, I think are viable candidates for a PSA 10. And let's just keep going, second hit. So out of 24 packs, we're definitely looking for double digit hits. Nothing here, a Mew and a Paris. But uh, yeah, that's... That's exactly why Hidden Fates will always be significantly better compared to Champion's Path. Just these hit ratios make it so much fun to open. Reverse Energy here. I'm not going to count Reverse Energies, but uh, as a hit, we'll take them. Alright, so that's where Champion's Path definitely shines. The Reverse Energies are much better compared to uh, Hidden Fates. Now what we got? Ooh, another whiff here. Another Mew. Yeah, as always, guys, you do want to support the channel. Um, just, ooh, we got another bird. The regular birds. But yeah, obviously, liking and subscribing goes a long way. So if you are able to do that, I greatly appreciate that. And uh, I feel like maybe this part's a little thicker. Especially, no, she looks pretty good. Uh, this is just the regular art, but we'll put in a penny sleeve nevertheless. But yeah, PSA recently changed their system, so they upped the kind of like the e, the bulk rate to ten, but the max declared value looks like it can go up to two hundred now, which I I see as a win. Um, you know, kind of broadens the range of what you can submit via that that range. Uh, it'll still probably take a really long time to get back, but all right, hitting a so far ratio is not too strong. Hopefully, we can start turning things up. We're about hit, hitting the halfway mark, so we should be looking close to six at this point. All right, <laughs> oh jeez. Okay, let me be very specific. We are looking for the shiny Charizard, the GX, the one that has the art from Burning Shadows. Only it's shiny. Once again, this looks like it might be pretty well centered. Uh, actually, I think a couple of people were telling me that this guy is actually pretty good uh, PSA 10. I feel like it's easy for me to underestimate just because, I mean, there's probably so many of these available through the, pro the tin promos. Uh, we need a double, a double hit pack real quick to catch up. And uh, turn this, oh my gosh, how many Mews are we going to find in this video? Alright, 
let's see what we get uh maybe a shiny from the color yeah there we go we got a shiny dog shiny rock rough very cute this one does look a little off center uh but yeah that, that's my one of my observations for this print run is the regular shinies maybe have some centering issues but the shiny gx's have been pretty good all right half halfway through five hits a little under what we're hoping for so we're gonna need this side to be even better. Looks like we may not. Oh, all right, we do have another shiny. Buzzwell, and uh, kind of like that same center issue, just this top top border, slightly thicker, maybe a little bit on the right side as well. But shiny Buzzwell, I think that's one of the better ones. Was a pretty good card back in the day. All right, let's get our first shiny GX for this opening. Just, oh my god, another Mew! How many Mews have we pulled? There they are. Alright, we got our play set of Mews just in this opening. Alright, from this angle, it looks like we might have something. Alright, come on, be the be the reversal. Ah, oh, it's the regular slot. Uh, what does that mean? Giovanni or Jesse and James Giovanni. Giovanni's Exile. Uh, not sure how in demand these are PSA 10, but this one does look pretty good. Yeah, we need those reverse slots to be the full art, the full art kind of uh, border. Not sure we have anything here. Star you into a Arbuck. Uh, but yeah, it's been a blast opening stuff for you guys live. Um, ooh, shiny Whooper. I am a big fan of the shiny Whooper. This one does look more well-centered than the others. Whooper's kind of cute. Ah, it feels like it's slightly off. Maybe like rotated a little bit. We'll put you in a penny sleeve. And all right, we're catching back up. What is this? Eight hits? Eight hits, but uh, yeah, let's get a shiny GX. We definitely need something, something full art from that shiny vault. Go. Oh, I thought it was going to be another Mew for a second. Mr. Mime. Then, just in jeans from an Eevee. Alright, let's not cool off now. This is what we need to heat up. Uh, maybe a shiny? Nope. Sabrina into a golem. All right, so it has been very much on my to-do list to do a Pokemon episode. Things have gone absolutely insane, especially with uh, you know a lot of a lot of uh, very well-known people getting into Pokemon. I'm sure we've all uh, uh, caught up on that first edition box opening and an amazing results. We got a Wimpod, very cute. So is this nine? So far, I feel like we're, we're behind, but we still have three more packs. Ah, Jesse and James, not the, uh... All right, we got both Full Art Supporters from the regular Hidden Fate set. And eh, I feel like it's kind of like rotated again. When it comes to Full Art Supporters, definitely not the ones we are ideally getting. All right, reverse slot, reverse slot. Nah, maybe a shiny. Nope, just a jinx into a bill. All right, last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? We are, we need it. What are we at? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we did get to double digits. So it wasn't terrible, but not the none of the spiciness we were looking for. Um, you know, I don't have a redemption pop, but I'm gonna cre quickly create one for you. Uh, Montre, be right back. Our Montre redemption time. I grabbed two more, cracked open one more tin. Uh, I feel like Mewtwo's been pretty good to me lately, so we're gonna start with the Charizard. Not have, uh, let's see if we can't redeem. I mean, you know, we had a good pull ratio, but uh, definitely feel like these, this redemption pack was a good idea. Ah, oh, man. Isn't able to, ah, we got another shiny for a Magnemite. I feel like this steel Regular shinies are definitely uh, heavily pulled in my experience. 
the like Matang, uh, Beldum, and then the Magnemite line. Both of them been pulling quite a bit. So there you go, Montreal. Again, thank you for sponsoring this opening. And if you want to get on, on some of these $15 tins, uh, make sure you check on the Patreon page and sign up before the end of the month. Uh, we'll have to take a look at inventory after that and see what we can do for November. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, once again, like and subscribe to support the channel. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.